Hey everybody, Vaughn here with the Vonster vlog and today is day 24 of Fittober. I have not done my workout yet. It has been a very busy day. I had to do another batch of canning uh, first thing in the morning because I made way too much soup yesterday. Um, and so it was a two batcher instead of a single, batch. It's, it's fine. But some other things took precedence this morning, but we're still getting to it. It is officially the afternoon. I don't know if I'm going to have my shade spot outside, but I also might just have to risk getting a little bit of uh, sunlight. <laughs> so we'll see if I can't find a shady spot. If not, we'll be starting off indoors. There is a link to the follow along for the video um, for the cardio that I'm doing today. It's another 25 minute walking workout. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I will be back. Future Ron will be back to let you know how it goes. Y'all, send help. I just need my cardio. And I 100% do not feel like doing my train with Joan. It is so hot in here. <sighs> okay, you've convinced me. I'll get back to work. Hey guys, I did it. I finished my workout. I did not feel like it at all. Today was hard. But we did it and I think that's awesome I think we are good at doing hard things and by we I mean me and you like I think everybody's better at doing hard things and what they give themselves credit for um, and that hard things can seem uh, insurmountable but we can do them like and sometimes it's nice to prove that to myself so I did take some notes today because it was a roller coaster. Because <laughs> I feel really good having done it, except for I had a headache. Um, and I got a little whew, trying to. I hate supersets. Like, I kind of hate supersets. I don't like having to change gears. I don't want to have to swap weights from one foot to the other. Um, I'm just going to have. But I think it's better for me whenever I do the supersets. I just feel like it's taking forever. For me to get through my workouts and I'm going to try to do better I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do better at being patient with myself and I'm gonna try to do better at minimizing distractions I don't necessarily need to be doing my workout and canning at the same time that way I'm not going in there and getting distracted and then oh, I gotta check something on my phone or like and I think sometimes that is a benefit to going to a gym is all of the distractions of home are not like right there but also I need I need to get this stuff done like stuff's not gonna can itself and you know granted all of my things to do today are self-imposed so it's not like I've got some external deadline breathing down my neck but I've been self-employed since 2008 every deadline is self-imposed to some extent like so um that is what that is my notes so it says okay so I don't feel like it that's not a good enough excuse it's not to me like it's just not like I okay so you don't feel like it well, let's do it anyways you know <laughs> and then the next thought I had on that was I don't feel like feeling the way I've felt for years with my body hurting and always tired just from being like, just from getting up and being alive for a day, I'd be exhausted. Like, without even really necessarily doing anything that I felt like should be as extraneous. Like, the level of exhaustion versus the level of exertion I feel like I was putting in were not lining up. Um, I'd like to get those two things to uh, line up more. And there were even times I'd said to, to Randy, my husband, I was like, I feel like I'm buckling under this pack of weight like it's got 50 pounds in it but I'm only carrying five like because I kept trying to to reduce my stress I kept trying to cut back on my workload and like my obligations and it just wasn't working and I think sometimes I, I, I think I just needed to take all of the weight off and kind of like keep moving forward and that's what Fittober has been is I took the pack completely off I removed all obligations because I couldn't even show up at all without bringing all of that baggage with me that emotional stress and like that kind of reactionary like 
you know, it's like, oh, I got an email, like stress. And it's like, it's not even, it's like a spam email. Everything's fine. But it would trigger this whole like internal avalanche of stress, um, stressing me out. And it's, I don't feel like continuing to feel that way. I don't feel like working out today or didn't, but I do feel like changing my life. And this is what that's going to take. So, so that's what it is. <laughs> and then again, and it almost became this like reverting back to this, a sense of self-parenting where there's me adult future Vaughn who's does things even when she doesn't feel like them like the me that I want to grow up to be versus child me like that dichotomy in my mind who's petulant and like well I don't wanna and you know and it's like well duh nobody wants to do they but because sometimes sometimes I feel like you know doing something I don't know if I'd call it exercising but like I feel like going and playing like that sounds fun but this conversation I was having with myself in my own head was basically the come on <laughs> like that one always works it's you know grown-up Vaughn telling kid Vaughn come on like come on come on I go oh okay you've convinced me <laughs> but the sooner I complete today's workout the sooner I can have a shower and be a potato like that's a that's just it. The pile of work needs done. Let's do it. Um, and then I was getting like really into it and like dripping sweat today. And I was other moments don't exist. There is only now. Be now. We're gonna get through the workout, but let's be mindful while we're doing it. Sometimes all we have is this moment that's right here. Everything else behind us is a memory or a regret. Everything ahead of us could be a hope or a fear. All that we have that's real is now. And that got me through the rest of my workout. Um, just because I don't feel like it doesn't equate to quitting. Again, that's whenever it was like... Uh, just because I don't feel like doing it, that does not mean I feel like quitting. I feel like changing my life. I just don't feel like being sweaty and on the floor. <laughs> like, there's ways, like, so just figuring out how it is that I'm feeling, I think was a really good start. Um, and it, I think the takeaway from today is my workout, the exercise for today was showing up whenever I don't feel like it. Everything else, like, I got some good reps in, those deadlifts were really challenging, like, everything. My, my booty is wrecked, <laughs> like, um, like absolutely demolished from the, like, uh, leg, the abductor, adductor, I don't know, the leg lifty outy things, and then the, where we go like this on, in, with, with our hips, like, demolished my ass, um, but we did it, you guys, it's over, I get to not be working out for the rest of the day. I might like dance or something later to be fun. Um, I did go ahead and make myself some more of that iced coffee uh, protein shake. It's not keto chow. Ignore the cup. But keto chow is good stuff. Not sponsored. They're just expensive. Um, it's some like... I can't remember the name of it. But it's some mocha coffee, like iced coffee protein powder. So it's 110 calories until I put 10 ounces of whole milk in it. Because, mmm, yummy. Uh, and then only five grams of carbs. I feel like I could put some fiber in it, but it's tasty. It's a bit of a treat. It gives me something. It's so warm today, you guys. Like, I don't even know, but it is sweaty. <laughs> Outside, inside, doesn't matter. Sweaty. Um, and so we were going to be having some of the soup that I canned up for lunch. I do not feel like eating hot soup. I feel like drinking iced coffee, so that's what's happening. We'll probably hit some soup later, like post-shower, but, um, this was, I think this was a good day. I don't know. I think sometimes it's okay to have a day in a workout where I don't have an opinion or any, like, massive breakthroughs. Like, I got through it. That's all right. <laughs> that's not nothing. <laughs> like, I'll take it. Um, I also am, I'm gonna have to channel all of my like powers against procrastination to actually get my work surfaces cleared up because I've been lollygagging on that. So that's going to be what's ahead of me for the rest of the day. Like I'm just, I'm so, 
kind of tired and worn out, feeling a little burnt out, like when I think about it. If I don't think about it, I feel fine, I'm at peace. But if I think about it, I'm a little tired of just exertion, generally. And so I think I'm gonna give myself the rest of the day to just bathe and relax. And if the stuff doesn't get cleaned up, it'll get cleaned up tomorrow. But I can only have so many top priorities of the day. And I did the one that at the beginning of the month I told myself was going to be the top priority. So as much as this other housework and these other things, like if I had people counting on me, that'd be one thing. But again, these are just self-imposed tasks. We got the house vacuumed. Like we'll get it all done. I don't need to be... I need to have everything in every little way figured out right this moment. Let's just take a a nice deep breath. We did it. We got through our workout. Let me know how you guys are doing down in the comments. Um, did you get through your workout today? Are you getting your steps in? Um, I still, I'm going to get the meal plan posted. <laughs> I forgot to do that. But uh, we'll get it taken care of. But Check in with me down below, and I will see y'all tomorrow. So until then, for day 25, until then, keep on keeping on, y'all. Bye. <laughs>